What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Man, I feel like we have some bangers coming out lately. Um, so, today I'm gonna be working here for a little bit. It is currently Saturday. We have my homeboy I gotta pick up. Uh, he just came back from the army. So we're gonna go pick him up here in a little bit from the airport. He's gonna be staying, so we have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, we're just gonna be like, you know, doing some bro stuff, honestly. Like, we have some crazy stuff. Not crazy stuff, honestly, but uh, more like bro stuff where, you know, testosterone's involved and whatnot well th this sounds weird but you know you're, you're gonna get what i'm talking about bro i was just here like five days ago to the airport and i'm here again um this time i'm not flying i'm here to pick up my friend we're literally waiting for him so he should be out here shortly uh yeah bro it's crazy i've known this guy since i was like what like in seventh grade eighth grade it's times won't go on my quick bro like literally we're like 25 almost pushing 30 and we're here wow dude wow Nice. I saw you in the airplane. I think you flew. So. <laughs> oh What's up, bro? That was a good snap, bro. Okay, so we're finally settled in at the house. We chilled for a little bit. We went like grocery shopping, and whatnot. And this boy, you listen to that? he's listening to the sad Drake, bro. Like, what the hell is going on? Hey, bro, you good? Hey, you okay? Why are you listening to sad Drake right now? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, just making sure, buddy. Yeah. He's definitely going through a heartbreak right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. All right, guys, so we just got back from the gym. We got the pre-workout, wait, we got the post-workout snacks right here. We got tequila, we got vodka. Um, yeah, we're gonna have fun today. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We have some friends coming over and family as well. Um, so we have my boy right here. Uh, just hit a workout. I haven't seen this guy in like three months, I think, right? Three, four, five, maybe somewhere like Yeah, that. something like that. So anyway, workout was great and it's crazy, bro, because I never work out with people. I don't like working out with people. Um, I don't know why, but it's crazy whenever you have the camaraderie, I said the word, right? It's very insane. That's like the whole topic of this video. I feel like it's very important to have like a bro, you know, work out with you or even like in general, like to keep each other in check. And I think that helps because like, bro, like, for example, right, if like, let's say hypothetically me and this guy live together, uh, not in some weird crap, but like, you know, like as bros, like, you know, we, we split rent and everything. We help each other get to the next level. Let's say this guy, he's slacking on his work and I was like, hey bro, what the hell are you doing? And that's what we we're doing at the gym. Like we were just like telling each other stuff that we knew that would piss us off. And uh, you know, I had to do the bro thing. Like I've known this guy for a long time. So I was like, hey bro, like you're, you know, your future wife is in here and she's watching you and you're being a little pussy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like bro, you have to, yeah. like you have to push each other I, I, like that. With bros, you gotta push yourself to your limits. You gotta make sure you're pushing towards the goal, you're pushing towards whatever you're doing in the job wise, the work ethic. You gotta push that motherfucker to this fucking limit. Yeah, bro. And this guy, since he just came back from the military, I feel like he knows a lot about that because that's how it is, bro, over there. And, you know, like me, as much as I can accomplish on my own, I know, like, sometimes I just need that camaraderie and there's nothing wrong with that. So that's what we're doing. And you know what they say? What does that one song say? Work hard. Play hard, man. There you go. So right now we just worked hard. We're gonna play hard. We're about to make some burgers, um, and yeah, it's gonna be a freaking competition, bro. We're gonna we're gonna see who can make the best burgers. I think I am. This Bullshit. Guy. <laughs> yeah. Bullshit. Sorry guys, I didn't record the burgers, but it's a few days later. Um, honestly, today in this video, I did want to talk about how important like doing bro shit is. Um, I think it's super duper important and there's a lot of real stuff out there that has nothing to do with like bro shit But I feel like it's just manly stuff that you got to do like for example uh, One thing that I want to get into for sure is like I've been eating like organic as hell Right and like eating a lot more like protein and everything and just trying to like fuel my body the correct way The reason why I'm doing this um, there's a reason why is because like bro. I obviously want to live longer I want to be a freaking healthy human being and another thing is bro like I feel like the healthier you eat, the higher your testosterone, like, you know, is, it goes. And not that I have low testosterone, but just want to gain more muscle, bro. I want to be huge. I want to become a freaking, like, I don't know. I want to look as big as I can. Who doesn't, right? Like, I just want to be huge. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I am tempted to start TRT, but <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. I'm not messing with you. But regardless, like, I think that's super important. Um, you know, putting your health seriously and going to the gym and doing all that stuff. The way I see it, bro, I used to be such a cheapskate, but now that I'm getting older, um, I'm starting to realize that putting high quality foods is like literally the same thing as putting like high quality fuel inside your car. 
and there's people that put like cheap gas and then what happens a couple years later it sneaks up on you and your car breaks down right so that's what i'm trying to like negate and i'm just trying to get better at so yeah that being said that's the premise of the video uh you gotta align your life a little bit and i feel like it's super important to do that especially at the young age that we are um even though i'm 25 and i'm almost gonna be 30 <laughs> um you know i think it's very important especially right now to get my life in track um because you never know bro like i don't want to be a bad example for my kids you know what i'm saying so do bro shit bro Alrighty, so we're finally back from work it is currently like 10 41 i've been busy all freaking day but it's all good um i do have something to say so um someone stole my camera i said that in the last video but i didn't really elaborate I kind of left that as a little cliffhanger so pretty much what happened was that the SD card slot was broken, so I took it to Best Buy, they shipped it out. Then uh, Geek Squad, whatever, they received it. And then they sent it back, sent it back to the wrong house, and someone stole my camera. So they kept my camera, and uh, yeah, bro, they gave me a freaking gift card today, and I got a freaking free camera. I'm excited because, yeah, bro, I, this is what I expected, bro. Honestly, they were gonna feel my wrath, bro, if they didn't give me a, a new camera, so. This all happened. Everything's good. I haven't even opened it yet, bro. But like, honestly, I'm excited. I was about to get a better camera, but I was like, bro, you need to chill out because you know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't know if that makes sense, but like, I was going to just get something better because why not? You know, this whole camera talk brings me into my next point. It's all about composure. And what I mean by this is that honestly, I was freaking pissed whenever I found out that they lost my camera. I was like, gonna like people were telling me to make a big deal out of it. But honestly, I'm glad I did it because... Uh, today, I just went very calmly and I said, hey, um, I know you helped me and I know you tried, but can you let me talk to your manager? And she was like, well, actually, believe it or not, um, I'm just going to go ahead and help you out. I'm going to give you a gift card and you can go ahead and buy yourself another camera. I was like, look, that, it's that easy. You know what I mean? Because if I would have been a dickhead, they probably would have kicked me out. Probably told me to never come back again. And we only have one Best Buy here in Corpus Christi. So that would have been embarrassing. But regardless, not only that, bro, but like, this is a little TMI. I'm going to be like super duper honest with y'all. Um, this freaking week or this past two weeks, I was so excited because I was going to Arizona. It was a, like a free trip and everything. But then, of course, bills piled up. Like I have insurance due for this house. Um, two insurances, actually. Then I had one insurance due for the new house. And bro, I freaking got pissed. Like, I was like, dude, are you serious? Like, like that's like $3,000 right there. Then the truck payment came and then that racked that up to 4,000. And then the mortgage and then the light bill and then everything together, bro. I think this month of September, I've actually spent like $5,000. And that's part of life. That's just how it is. But at the end of the day, bro, like last year, I regret, I would just like let all that crap eat me alive. And honestly, it just like, bro, you need to get better. You just need to like, actually just like, let it all go. And eventually you're gonna walk into some kind of money. You get your paycheck and everything. And it's gonna make you feel better. Of course, it stings a little bit to watch 5,000 drop. Oopsies, I forgot to mention. I also do have a loan that I owe of $2,500 every month. So that's like $7,500. Yeah, sad days for Mauricio Vanellos. Anyway, my point is that yes, your freaking bank account drops, but at the end of the day, you just have to like keep going, bro, because this is part of life. I feel like, uh, well, you know, general bills, like you can always pay stuff off, but like general bills are always gonna be a thing, bro. So you can't stress out about it too much. You're gonna have them regardless. Other than that, uh, just keep your composure, bro. Even if it's bills, even if it's not bills, even if it's like dealing with customer service, bro, just like be cool and don't lose your cool because eventually you're just gonna fight with people and you're gonna have all this like back and forth and people are gonna hate you. So. Uh, that's something that I'm definitely like, I'm trying to be less emotional, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to be a little bit more strategic when it comes to these things. So main takeaways, whenever it comes to conflict, just keep your composure and don't have any kind of freaking like, you know, just don't be sensitive, don't use your emotions. And that's what I would recommend. I do have to acknowledge that it feels so freaking good to shoot on a camera again. It's been a long time. I think it's been like a month and a half. But anyway, another thing that I'd recommend you do with the bros or even by yourself, I always do this myself. I do physical gymnastics. <laughs> I know that sounds funny. But what I mean is like exercising your mind. Um, I'm always trying to like get new knowledge and explore new knowledge. So I'm always like looking up different things. Uh, believe it or not, I'm always like looking up things for health health, nutrition, working out, and I'm actually always learning something new because I feel like, every, I, especially with the health industry, I feel like doctors did research and this study says and blah, blah, blah. Like all these things are all different nowadays and you can never win regardless of that. Another thing that I'm doing is that I feel like my Spanish is actually like suffering a lot. The reason why is because I feel like I don't speak it as much. 
And I noticed that my accent is going away, like whenever I speak Spanish and I sound like a Yo No Sabo kid. So I don't want to be one of those. Um, so what I'm trying to do is like watch some podcasts in Spanish. I'm also reading some books in Spanish. And that's actually helping me get some kind of literature and development in my brain where I start kind of exercising that muscle. And I just feel like that side of my brain hasn't really been worked on. So that's what I'm doing. And that's how I'm preparing to get better at Spanish again. Because trust me, bro, that was like I used to be better at Spanish than I was in English and now it's the other way around and uh, quite frankly I feel like I suck at English too <laughs> I ain't gonna lie bro okay so obviously this video is about bro shit and this does not get more bro than this so right now I am currently um, gonna sell some tires I just got out of work earlier and yeah I've been selling stuff on marketplace for a while and I love it man this is something that definitely helps me I feel like especially with the whole hustle culture on Instagram TikTok. YouTube shorts, everywhere you see it, everybody's talking about wanting to make more money and everything, especially now with inflation. Um, you know, it's freaking crazy. Like you, you have to like maybe have a side hustle if you really want to live like a lavish or crazy lifestyle. But me, it's not necessarily that I want to live that. It's just that I want to have more investments. I just want to have more money into my bank account, honestly. And that's what I'm doing. So right now, um, I'm going to sell the tires in the back and I'm currently going to meet up with someone. And this is literally what I do, bro. Like I do this, uh, most of the time and this is how I make some extra cash. By the way, this video is like tailored for the bros, but just cause I'm saying it's bro shit doesn't mean it's necessarily just bro shit because I've actually seen some girls make some good points in a video where like they talk about how you know they commute and how they make a hundred thousand a year and they're nine to five and that they're not happy the reason why they're not happy is because it's crazy with this freaking inflation that they can't afford anything and it's just everything's expensive it's hard to get to work and yeah so I completely understand that and you know um, thank God where I live is not like that but at the same time is like you never know for a rainy day bro um especially the way the economy looks right now you just want to be careful and have extra cash bro so that's what we're doing right now so wish me luck let's let's hope we get to sell because usually on marketplace bro it's not a hundred percent certain but we shall see okay so obviously i don't look pissed but i just think it's funny that one of my examples comes into play is literally bro keep your composure because right now this guy sent me to the hood and he didn't even buy this freaking tires he literally made me drive like 20 minutes away from my house and it was like one of those places where you have to like lock your doors and this man literally pulls up and says hey um here you go it's 175 dollars i was like bro that you know that's 175 per tire right like you know how to read my description says he's like i'm so sorry this and this and that. i was like bro like i just got pissed but you know it is what it is we're good we're fine we're alive and that's all that matters <laughs> so going back to something i mentioned earlier in this video about eating organic stuff and i know this is the last thing you want to hear in a bro video but uh pretty much i try to eat a little bit more organic because like i was telling y'all earlier it is very important to just have better fuel yeah that's pretty much what i do at least 65 percent of my diet is organic um so that's what i would recommend not necessarily you have to but honestly if you make a little bit more money i definitely recommend it again i'm not drinking out of glass water bottles or anything yet but i definitely would want to in the future um you know slowly making the changes slowly getting better and that's all you really got to do so i hope this video kind of helped y'all um I do want to make more videos like this. I think it's very important to kind of keep yourself in track. It's not all about the Benjamins. It's not all about the money is pretty much what I'm trying to say. Um, it's also about your health. It's also about your body. You got to work out. You got to make sure that you treat your body as a temple. Um, and it's going to get you to where you want to be. You know what I mean? If you want to hang out with your friends, because right now the reason I'm making this video as well is because me personally, I'm single right now. So like the one thing I'm obviously I would want kids in the future, but right now I'm not worried about wife kids, anything like that. I'm pretty much more worried about, you know, being able to accomplish every single goal that I have. As y'all know, if you've been watching this channel for a long freaking time, I'm so hard on myself that I always want to accomplish so much before the night ends. So that being said, I'm always freaking on myself. So might as well feed myself the best food. Might as well just like, you know, replenish my body the best I could with supplements and whatever I can do. And that's what I would recommend you do as well. Because honestly, how sucky would it be that you'd be a millionaire, but then you freaking destroyed your body in the process? That would freaking suck. So that's why here I am trying to like enlighten you a little bit with my knowledge of what I would do and what I do to kind of, you know, get to the next level. So I really love y'all guys. I really appreciate y'all. Peace.